I'm 3 News Now meteorologist Joseph Meyer. This is part two of four in our look back at the Easter Sunday tornado outbreak that occurred back in 1913. Part one dove into the meteorological aspects of the event. Part two will delve into some of the tornadic details, particularly the tornadoes that occurred in eastern Nebraska that day, not counting the Omaha tornado. That'll be a separate one. This one will include the rest of the tornadoes that impacted a lot more rural communities. Let's start up north in Burt County. It had a tornado touchdown clipping the town of Craig west of Tecama. Nobody was killed in this tornado. 13 did suffer some injuries. The tornado was around 200 yards wide, clipping the northern and western part of the town, damaging over a dozen homes. A few of them pushed off of their foundation. The main tornado went north of Tecama and moved into Monona County, Iowa. The next tornado to touch down was the second strongest of the day, touching down in Saunders County and hitting the town of Utan, a very small town in 1913. Continuing its way, going in between Valley and Elkhorn, and eventually moving, barely missing Fort Calhoun in Washington County before moving on into Harrison County, Iowa. This tornado unfortunately took the lives of 22 people, 19 of them in the city of Utan. This makes this Nebraska's second deadliest tornado behind the Omaha tornado, which is the deadliest as the tornado tracked over 50 miles through several counties. Further on to the south, the thunderstorm that developed near Lincoln dropped a brief tornado near the town of Greenwood in Cass County. This tornado was on the weaker side, still damaging a couple of homes, but this would be the same supercell that would go on to produce the tornado that would ravage through the Omaha Metro. On the south side of the Omaha Metro in Bellevue, another violent tornado touched down, clipping the actual city itself, not doing much damage in the city, but it would become a violent tornado as it moves into western Iowa. And then another large and violent tornado touched down, this time down in Odo County near the town of Douglas, tearing through parts of the county, hitting the town of Odo, which was in 1913 called Berlin. 13, 12 people would be killed in the town and much of the city would be destroyed by the tornado as it lifted to the north and east, going north of Nebraska City and clipping parts of Cass County. And a final tornado touched down way down near the Kansas border in Pawnee County. This was a weaker tornado, narrowly missing Pawnee City, damaging a school and four homes. Might have been a little bit of a longer track, maybe starting south of Beatrice and going, heading up in the direction of Auburn. The data a little sparse on that. For more details on these tornadoes in eastern Nebraska, with photographs and a lot more details, Scroll down below in this blog post to see those. If you want to check out the other four parts, links to those are also in the blog post down below.